see i have we already done this question earlier but then i have written it because the wording is very important that you understand in this question so uh, see whenever i say a determines b or b determines c if such a functional dependency is given it is assumed that 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 particular functional dependency holds everywhere in the database everywhere you see a and b if a determines b is there if as a functional dependency it must hold true everywhere for every new insertion or whatever updation you are going to do right uh, it is not that we generally have uh, functional dependencies derived from the instances of the relations right so now just watch it from the following instance of the relation schema r a b c which means they are saying that there is a table with name r and attributes a b c we can conclude that so from this what can you conclude that is what they are asking right uh, they are saying a is functionally a functionally determines b which means if you write uh, the option a they are saying this is true okay so one thing is we can never conclude that a functional dependency is true based on the instance isn't it so whatever is the equation as long as it is uh, you know non trivial right if it is trivial it is fine but then if it is non trivial right non trivial means there is no repetition right if it is non trivial then we can never be sure about any functional dependency unless we know the uh, requirement analysis by looking at the table we should not say it right so we can never declare it so a functionally determines b we should not say it because we cannot conclude it right okay but then you know it might hold true for this particular instance but i cannot uh, apply this on the entire uh, database right so for example if i am saying a determines b for a given value of a there should be you know b value as unique now if there is any repetitions in a b should be same see this there is repetitions in a right and what is what is what about b it is same there is repetitions in b a it is same therefore on this instance it is looking like you know it is right but then i cannot say this for every instance of the uh, this particular relation or on the entire database as a whole so i can never say this this particular thing concluding this is not true right and if you look at the next one a functionally determines b right so again uh, this one is also a blunder isn't it i can never conclude this <clears throat> it might hold true on this instance but not on the database now b does not functionally determine c yes we can be sure about what doesn't hold but we cannot be sure about what really holds right therefore b determines c just check it whether to check it or not i want to check this b determines c whether it holds or not on this instance so when will there be a violation whenever there are repetitions in the left hand side which means if b repeats i want i am interested in that yes b is repeating here right what about c c is not same which means given a value of b as 1 you cannot come up with a unique value for c therefore clearly on this on these two tuples itself it doesn't hold right therefore b does not determine i'm sure about that okay so b does not determine c this is the option now what about this a does not determine uh, a does not functionally determine b so a does not functionally determine b i am not able to rule it out i am not able to rule it out because you know it is looking as if uh, for this instance it is true so from this instance i cannot get, i cannot derive that you know a does not determine b so i cannot say that right so only option possible is this so be careful with this okay uh, people think that from the relation table they derive the functional dependencies that is where you might go wrong from the functional dependencies from the requirement analysis we get functional dependencies and we are going to apply functional dependencies as uh, you know constraints on the dbms right so they are it is not the other way around okay fine Hi. If you are planning to do masters, then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I'll give you all the reasons. So, first reason is, out of one lakh students who take gate every year, there are only five hundred seats in old IITs. So, all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of zero point five percent. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate, like thirty percent, forty percent. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of zero point five percent.
and if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting it, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 Okay, thank you.